Alright, and now we're on to a new part in the saga of where the hell are we going? We don't know. Huh? Hey, the branch, it's... Reacting. Well, I guess we're gonna find out more. Did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. <gasps> oh, I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was, all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. Oh yeah, they won second prize. That's a nice little bit of consistency. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. With Heliodor chasing us. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs. Orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. I can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. It's off to the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. Hmm. Hmm? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. Fun size forge. Puerto Valor. Rab could take Serena's place. If the, the need ever arises. 
We'll have similar rules. Um, we need... Do we have antidotes? Or did we... Oh, weird. Oh, hey. And that one's sealed. I gotta look at stuff from all the angles. Because if you don't, you miss stuff. You don't want to miss stuff. Um, we do have an active quest, don't we? Oh no, we did. We did complete everything. 
Except for go figure, which we can't at the moment. Disappear don't do anything for us. I need to, um... Thank goodness. I need to set up tactics.
Kind of going to depend on Rab as a magic user. Probably doesn't matter where we dock. Probably doesn't matter too much. shell. What's that? That's an armor upgrade. Smackers. can actually go in the water.
Why not find a giant umbrella? I can see this from the battlefield, which is actually really cool. There's a lot of enemies I want to fight at least once, just to see what they are capable of doing. You can probably... You can probably pair Rab up with uh, three offensive attacking players pretty easily.
some of these areas will have meaning in a little bit. Casino! Okay, darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and, uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. A fuss as no far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? Boom, boom. Oh my god, look at all the purple. stick
Steel Shield, Iron Mask, Full Plate Armor. First holiday, my wife and I have been on in years. You see, I was I was too busy with work. Anyway, I thought I'd bring her here and get away from it all for a bit. Now she's saying she won't go home unless I get her a piece of floral coral. You can't buy that stuff in shops. You have to find her coral losses to get it. I know I've been giving her the attention she deserves. And I really like trying to make her happy, but finally wants to use it. Well, it's not really my cup of tea. You know, the other end, look as though you love a scrap. I suppose. I don't suppose you could do the deed for me, could you? I'd make it worth your while. but we do not. Uh, just a moment here. No, 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 without proper pepper, the flavors are wrong. Siento, sorry, should I get so angry at the kit in the kitchen, but the fact is my specialty just requires a pinch of proper pepper, and I do not have any. So I import my pepper from Gondolia, but recently they have been facing a terrible shortage. And that a gang of vicious pirates has been attacking the Gondolian trade fleet and stealing entire cargoes of my beloved spice, cursed those brick of men, and Los Brutos. Unless they are cruel as well as cruel. Proper pepper is a valuable commodity. Indeed, it is known in these parts as oh, Greece. Griggle! I dread to think how expensive it will be become criminals are in control of its supply. Senor, you're a strong and capable man. Perhaps you would be willing to liberate my precious proper pepper from his pirate captors. on some pirates. Welcome to the Miniature Metal Exchange, an officially licensed organ of the Academy de Motra Matri de Medallias. What is this? You don't have an atom, album de medallies. Well, we shall soon fix that.
we need to collect more. You like bunny girls, huh? A rush of blood. Casino is not open yet.
so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions, too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and... fighting. Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? Something's gonna go wrong here. It's too easy. our pal Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. What did you do, Salvando?
Where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylph, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. <gasps> oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Disappointed to see us. <laughs> She's a mermaid. try to catch me in a net you're different from most other human beings that I've met my name's Michelle I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright it it's just I thought my car was back and I got all excited wow I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid but anyway Who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shelf, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea? Where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder. Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiance, will you take us down to see the queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. 
If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. Maikai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smoldering emotion. Oh, oh now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs> Another victory. Well, hello, experience. Spell Frizzle. No.
Town cutscene. That Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> Ooh, pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. seem a little less promising than I expected. Where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's it's just about to become our problem. Get out of here. I mean, it will be later because I'm about to uh, put an end to the festivities for the day. long ago the curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl but a heart as black as coal now let's begin once upon a time a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear, I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted 
but alive. The Kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day he threw his fiance aside and ran to the harbor screaming, I must go back to her. The kahuna was furious. They villainized the mermaid. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lonolulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his, his heart. Soul. Not a soul. I presume. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Whoa! The mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Roar! That's why they're so violent to the mermaid. The mermaids. Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? I think we already did. Oh my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village. Are they saying that this isn't the same guy? But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all popule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. Well, we'll find out more. We've gone several minutes over time again. About ten minutes of cutscenes between me and the, the safe the save location. So it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't haven't already done so, feel free to follow button one time. Sub like and share on the YouTube end of things if you're there. And we will see you guys again next time. Till then, take care. Have a great one. And uh, later on, guys.